Welkom in de Permaculture Research Center Eco Rousseau in Curaçao. En ik wil eerst de vraag stellen: heb je ooit een farmer maintaining een forest? No, forest is maintaining itself. So in permaculture we try to create systems that are self-sustaining, like nature. And here you can see uh, a system of two, year, two months old where I planted uh, diverse trees, fruit trees and vegetables in between to create uh, higher production, higher yields in a natural way and to run on the engine of uh, Mother Nature. And the system is based on diversity at the first place and is based on the layers as we can find in mother nature for instance you see a line here with uh, coconut trees and banana trees and there are some lemon trees also let me show you here you see a lemon tree beside a banana tree and a coconut tree and when they will grow to maturity the coconut tree will be the, the tallest of them and after, after that the banana tree will come in height and the lemon tree will be under that banana tree so you got three different layers of food while the coconut is growing the bananas is ripening, are ripening and the lemons are producing but underneath I repeated that very same system so here you see string beans and under the string beans a uh, little pak choy is growing also uh, with some carrots. So it's a combination of uh, companion planting I introduced here and the larger trees, the larger the trees become like those trees we are growing here like this mispel and this grape, the Suriname grape. They're providing shade and these trees will also provide shade but in the smallest species, this is exactly what the string beans are doing for the pak choy because the pak choy are not that resistant against sunburn and they need more water for that but all those vegetables that are growing in the shade for instance these line of string beans here are growing far much better when they partly in the shade than when they're in the sun the whole day so I try to cope with different situations in the climate here in Curaçao which is very dry with a lot of wind as you can hear during, during the recording of this video so I try to work with these elements the, the heat the wind to produce to grow trees to break down the wind create more shade and also the trees when they grow bigger they will 
take water up from deeper sites to the more higher sites of the, the soil. Here you can see uh, sour sop. I planted a line with banana trees and sour sops in between. You see, sour sop, banana, sour sop, banana, sour sop, banana. So this will fill the space also. And here you can see this is celery. And here we got the cilantro growing in the shade of banana trees. String beans again. And here in this part you see uh, papaya and cassava creating that forest like situation. Yes, and the system, the system is based on the digging of swales because the water used to run down downstairs because there's a the difference in heights. Uh, when it's raining very hard, the water flows away immediately without any beneficent use of it. So I do dig some swales, uh, as you can see, and fill them with leaves, grass, branches, so that if the, 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 the water will flow into those swales, the water will be collected and stored in those uh, organic material, in that organic material. And the water will soak into the soil where the banana trees and the sour sops and the coconut trees and the lemon trees are planted. So it is an attempt to uh, collect as much rainwater as possible to keep it in the system instead of let it flow away and so that we cannot use it anymore so this is an attempt to mimic nature to to to, to create uh, abundance in a system like this on a very small scale of land see it's at the moment i must say it's in the uh, dry season uh, and yeah, if I can see the plants, they're really thriving at the moment. I need to water them still, but uh, as m the moment the system evolves, the less water is needed because the water will be recycled within the system, for that is what trees are doing. So this is a combination of vegetables and tree production. And also there's a wonderful thing of trees, when you grow trees, whenever you grow trees, rain must follow and this is very a very necessity here in curacao in a very dry season very dry climate i must say and before this island used to be covered with trees also but when the spaniards came they didn't find the gold that they, they, they were searching for and they saw those trees and they cut down all those trees all those woods and the climate changed because trees are producing rain that's why i am planting trees also not only for the shade to break the wind but also to create rain for well, that's the most important thing trees does and in the permaculture uh, design course of Bill Mollison he's explaining it very clear in the top of the trees uh, there are cultures of bacteria growing living and whenever the wind comes they will be picked up and when I'm taken away with the wind and whenever those bacteria cultures are uh, con contacting clouds when they come in touch with clouds the clouds cannot help but letting the rain fall so it's a very intelligent uh, kind of synergy between three trees and clouds so trees are very much taking care of their own business uh, being self-sustaining that's why I plant as much trees as possible and I think if we want to grow vegetables here in Curacao we need to plant more trees let me walk you to another section based on the same principles of swales you see because of the difference in heights and here I um, focus on papaya and sour sops also and also here are growing some fresh seedlings of string beans and underneath that some pak choy is rising the little heads and here I've planted onions they're very small yet I hope you can see it 
and you see sour soap and this is lemon I also planted some lemons here so this is a uh, same kind of system as shown earlier and there's a combination also of uh, tree growth for the, the sour soap to get bigger the papaya will get bigger and they will produce fruits in their own due season and underneath I am in the meantime growing vegetables while the vegetables are uh, taking their profits from uh, the, 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 the shade, the, the, the breaking of the wind, of the trees and also when the trees are uh, taking that water up to the more superficial part of the soil. So a lot of benefits of growing trees and vegetables together. You see? This is the whole overall view. system and here you see a line of also string beans so in between those cassava another cassava papaya and string beans watch here surprise surprise here are carrots growing so the carrots are growing in the shade of the string beans so the same principle as it is with the trees, I repeat it here also. While the string beans are producing first, the carrots are growing in their own time and producing the carrots in the soil. While the string beans are ready, the, uh, the carrots will be coming up. So this is a very uh, high productive way of planting, like Mother Nature does. Diversity as a tool. Thank you for watching this video.